Hello, my friends.、Uh, today, I want to be talking about how to find a teacher and the six categories that I use to find good teachers. And after that, I'll be teaching you five steps on how to go about finding those teachers. So I'm just going to dive straight into it. Okay.、Uh, the first one is personality. You want to find someone who you click with, and they may not be the best teacher. They may not be the most knowledgeable teacher. But you gotta have someone who you click with because singing is very vulnerable, and it requires you to open up and be very、uh, naked or vulnerable. And so, if you don't trust the teacher, sorry, if the personalities don't match, you're not going to learn anything because if it's if it's conflicting, like if you've got like a a, a, a singing teacher that's more like a, a rock death metal singer, and you're trying to learn like this light acoustic stuff, it's not gonna work. You need to find someone if you like singing Ed Sheeran stuff. You need to find a singer songwriter or a folk teacher. You need to find someone who you click with, and that is the number one most important、uh, category that I would use. And number two is trust.、Um, you got to trust your teacher. Okay, if you don't trust your teacher, you're not going to learn anything.、Um, find out whether this teacher actually wants to help you, or whether he's just there for money, whether he's just there to it's in between job, you know, when he's gigging. Uh, find out you, you got to trust this person.、Um, I remember spending a lot of money when I was、um, learning.、Uh, few teachers actually, and they were just showing off how good they were. They never really taught me anything.、Um, or another person was just pretty much collecting money so he could build a studio.、Um, for, just make sure you trust this person and make sure they're there to help you and not there for other reasons. Number three is knowledge. Uh, you got to find a teacher who has really, really good knowledge, and a a, a a category that I use is whether or not the teacher can describe to you a problem better than you can describe yourself. So you might show up for a lesson and you say, "Oh, look, I was feeling a bit like、mm, not quite sure, but it feels like this." And then the teacher says, "Oh, you mean like it's like it's airy, or it's like the, there's like a frog stuck in your throat, or you get tense, or or." Leading up to the chorus, you start to get tense already. If the teacher can describe your problem better than you can describe yourself, you know you got a good teacher. Number four is whether or not you learnt anything. So when you walk out of the lesson, you want to walk away thinking, "Oh, cool, I got it. It worked." Make sure the thing actually worked in the lesson. A lot of teachers will just give you an exercise and go, "Yep, do it. You'll improve in a week." No, the teacher needs to give you an exercise, and you need to improve that specific instant. And if it worked, then the teacher will say, "Cool, that worked. Repeat that, you know, seven times during the week."、Uh, you need to make sure that you actually learn something. Don't just walk away thinking, "Oh yeah,、uh, I don't get it, but maybe it'll click eventually." No, no. You need to actually learn something in that lesson, or you're wasting your time.、Uh, number five is ability. Now, this is a tricky one. So, you want to find a teacher who's a good teacher and not necessarily a good performer. So, a teacher should be able to sing, but He may not have the voice of Beyonce or someone who's like that clear, but you know he should be able to hold a tune. And there's a difference between looking for a teacher who has ability to teach, and looking for a teacher who has ability to perform. So you want to find a good teacher. I remember in high school I had a really good maths teacher, and he was really good. But that doesn't mean he's going to be you know the next work for NASA and be a scientist and, and calculate you know rocket ship calculations and stuff like that. That that's performing. So.、Um, Look for a good teacher and not a good performer. Okay.、Um, number six, last one is feedback. So, because singing is such a difficult thing to teach,、um, you can't really get feedback on it because it's with with like you know playing sport. You hit the racket and you say, "Look, see, my shoulder was up. Your shoulder was down." You can do. You can get feedback. Singing, you can't because you can't. I can't say, "See, my、uh, little muscle is vibrating. Yours isn't." You can't really do that. So you're relying on the teacher's ears for feedback. And a good teacher would say yes, that's right. No, that's wrong. Straight away, there will be feedback, and you've got to have a teacher that does that. If you have, if you're singing and a teacher doesn't really say much, the teacher doesn't know what it's on about. So you need to find a teacher that says yes, that's correct. No, that's not correct. And if it's not correct, the teacher should be able to give you instructions on how to make it correct. So now we're going to move on to the next part of the video, which is how to make.、Uh, how would you go find this teacher? So、um, online. Number one is online. Or YouTube or blogs, just、um, look online because、um, back then I, I, we only had newspapers、um, when I was looking for my teachers. So,、um, and there was only one teacher at my school, and she didn't really know anyone else. How convenient! So,、um, look online now. You have YouTube, Facebook, Skype. There's so many,、uh, so many things you can. The, the, just search for the whole world, and you'll find someone that you click with. 
Number two is friend recommendations. If you're a person that likes uh, face-to-face and doesn't like Skype, that's totally fine. You can rely on your friends. Um, be careful because a teacher that's good for your friend may not be good for you because, you know, once again, personality, um, you know, your friend could be already good and you're not as good. You've got different um, uh, weaknesses and your friend may not have those weaknesses. So um, take it with a grain of salt, but friend recommendations are usually quite good because the trust and, and personality is there. Um, number three, don't base your teacher on star students. So what I mean by that is if someone says, oh, I taught Kelly Clarkson, you know, just, I wouldn't, that's cool, but you don't even know, did they teach Kelly Clarkson? I'm just using Kelly Clarkson as an example, but did they teach her since she was five years old or did they just have one lesson with her or did they just warm her up or, you know, what? Don't base on star students because star students are probably already good. They were good enough already and they just needed one or two tips, you know. Um, and with that, don't bait number five, uh, sorry, the fourth one I would say is don't base it on their performance history. So if a teacher has, um, you know, they've said they've gone on tour, they've gone to Japan, they've sung with Michael Jackson, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they're really good at performing, but are they good at teaching? That's the thing. You want to look for a good teacher. You want to look for a teacher that has taught someone who struggled with their voice, taught someone who, who is deaf in one ear or something, or or, or, or someone who's struggling with pitch, or someone who doesn't have a chest voice. You want to ask those sort of questions. You don't want to ask, oh, so how many EPs have you released? That's irrelevant. Um, all they're doing is selling you the dream of what you want. Um, but that doesn't mean they're going to help you get it. They, they just leave the dream and, and you get sucked in because you think by hanging around with them, you'll follow their dream and it may not be true. So make sure you look for a teacher, not a performer. The last one is, um, this is not that important, but find a teacher that um, has been through hell. And what I mean by that is find a teacher who probably started off not as a singer like me, um, who struggled and we learned, well, I learned all the little tips to get me from struggle land to um, professional singer. The problem with gifted singers is that sometimes they just, they've never gone through hell. So they don't know how to explain stuff. Or when they hear a student make the wrong sound, they don't understand like how on earth did you make that sound in the first place? You know, and they can't explain it. But, um, so find a teacher that, that was a bad singer to begin with, um, and improved. Um, but that's not important, but, uh, but it does help to find a teacher who has been through what you're going through and can save you 10 years of, of stress instead of letting you, you know, figure it out yourself. Um, so there you go. So that's the end of my video. I hope um, it really helped with the six categories that I use on how to screen for a teacher and the five methods on how to find a teacher. Um, and if you found this video helpful, please share with your friends, share on Facebook and Twitter. That would be really grateful. Um, and this doesn't just apply to singing. This applies to all music teachers. Um, and once again, if you feel like you click with me and you feel like you could work with me or you think we would work well together, please feel free to send me an email or you can jump on my website, which is www.singingtricks.com or you can contact me through that page. And um, I look forward to hearing from you next time. All right. See you later.